Good afternoon, folks. I'll give you a little education here on how you could save your life and save the world at the same time. Uh, it's American style because I know American uh, stuff on the foundation that our forefathers gave us. And uh, basically, when we're confronted by police officers or scientists with needles or, uh, or agents, we have to deal with them in certain perspectives. So what I've done here is I just made like a little diorama or whatever you want to call it, diarrhea of my brain. And uh, I'll show you all the information right up front. I'm going to explain everything. I'm probably going to go through it real quick because I know that people's attention spans is not good and we don't really have too much time to spend on stuff like this. Even though you should. Anyway, a citizen on patrol, okay, or a policy officer come from an office, you know, with policies, police officer. Um, all these things are based on paperwork. Uh, where if you look up uh, the United States Code, Title 18, Section 241 and 242, it states that two people or two groups can't get together and just decide the fate and circumstance for somebody else as if this world is sellable, buyable, rentable, to a, to a degree. And without the presence of a victim, nobody has a right to come in your life and even charge you or, or extort fees from you just to have simple liberties like traveling which is different than driving, which is words have power. You need to understand that at this point. Uh, the cat's already been out of the bag in many different forms. You know, I learned this information because I had to. And uh, some people gave me some advice, and a lot of it came to me, and I found it myself. Okay, so, you know, all these things here include U.S. Marshals, FBI, uh, military, Secret Service, presidents, judges, sheriffs, state's attorneys. Uh, they're all assuming jurisdiction without a victim. So unless you've actually hurt somebody, there is no jurisdiction where they have a right to come in your life. There has to be a victim uh, with evidence and witness and a properly filed complaint. Um, and you have to have due process. You need to look up these words yourself. Okay. Uh, anyway, a lot of these today are not bound by oath. Okay. And regardless, it's all about paperwork. And I've talked to... Um, U.S. Customs agents, I've talked to Highway Patrol, I've talked to FBI agents, and basically it's all paperwork. So uh, a citizen on patrol, okay, uh, has no more jurisdiction than you. Anybody can go arrest somebody, they could charge somebody, they could bring them to court, but you have to do the paperwork first. And once you take an oath, you're bound by this, and that's where the legal matters step into. So um, I'm going to show you afterward on how to deal with these and address these at the point that they're in your face. Okay, and as far as the needle man or needle woman that's going to come around, I just didn't feel like finding my needle, and I got tired of drawing needles for right now. But technically, uh, on the scientific plateau, okay, there's no fact that every single person is either a carrier or a contractor of the illnesses. So that makes uh, the, the, the vaccinations and the shots, uh, and including the chip, technically, all the, you know, that flows into this. It's all biased, it's prejudice, and it's profiling, and that's not allowed. Okay, and the, these people are backed by other people who hold paperwork, and they're defending them. It all goes on a legal plateau, and there is liability, and that's, that's what they're operating on is, is attorneys and lawyers, which need to really step it up and get in the right place. You know, um, they, they are saying, okay, well, you know, you're, you're released of liability because we have this mountain of paperwork we're going to flood out and exhaust people with, which always doesn't happen anymore. Okay, and now, the only thing that will affect everybody in the whole population outside of a complete natural disaster are debris, okay? Because anything that enters the body, okay, um, like I said, even Dr. Fauci, I mentioned him a couple of times. I watched his video, and he, he stated that there's some people that, that don't get AIDS, and, and their, their cells actually kill the viruses, you know, because they don't recognize them, and they act different. They're composed different, because we all are... Uh, tad different in perspective. So, you know, and debris that get in our air and in our food and our water, okay, uh, unless it's a natural debris that's derived from dust or pollen or something or a volcanic ash or, or a, a, you know, a rain cloud that's acid rain, you know, that's, that's based on chemicals too. But it's all 
debris that are placed in there by mankind, whether by circumstance or whether by intent of evilness. Okay, or else everybody would run, including the military, including the scientists, including the police. They would be on lockdown. They wouldn't be coming around and, and you know, telling everybody else what to do and having everybody else watch the news and tell each other what to do. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's like Big Brother 84. Okay, you know, so it's got to be controlled to a degree. Um, you know, and I say to a degree because there's always little incidental details where, yeah, there are things like flus, okay, but to, to the escalated level of, of, of urgency and intensity that it's at, it's not happening. Everybody knows it, uh, or they just don't want to admit it, or they refuse to give it the time but because they know what they're going to find. Okay, and no one has the right to take or give the USA up, because that's what the forefathers' paperwork is about. And all these people are bound by paperwork. The only thing that lifts them up above your level is because you signed papers blindly year after year. Oh, it's legal, legal mumbo-jumbo. Just sign it. Okay, your parents and grandparents were, were fooled. Your great-grandparents were actually at the cusp of a time where it was kind of like, you know... Uh, either go one way or another, and, you know, it obviously it went the way it went. So, actually, the whole world, the world itself owns all the property. So, no one, like, whether it's USA or Guatemala, for that, that you know, no one could take land and technically give it away or just take it. And if they do it by force, it's with evil, and it's not with what the people want. And it's only a few that want that, and that they're making it happen like that. And, you know, it is our life, and it is our world, right? All this stuff is, in time, you know, we're burning. We got sunshine on the other, and beautifulness, and the other one, it's a candle, and it's burnt out, and it's going to start burning our foundation now because of neglect, on many people's parts that are around me, too, you know, and, uh, you know, it's all getting sucked down to this machine here, you know, and there's a little businessman there, okay, now, when you address, when you're addressed by the needle man or the needle woman, the scientific fact proves that they shouldn't even be on, uh, uh, trying to administer or force you to take that or in, incept your body with something like that, okay, and as far as, like, FEMA agents and everybody else, no standard U.S. issue agent should ever be considered, okay, uh, oh, anybody but a non-standard, uh, anybody that is a non-standard U.S. agent or contractee should not even be given the respect and acknowledgement to be addressed. So, like I said, unless, unless it's military, unless it's police, these are things that the United States and the states all together, and the federal government that existed before these this past hundred years, technically, okay, uh, have established that there's certain levels of authoritative figures that are out there to handle circumstances so victims don't uh, get produced and contracts are fair and our earth gets respected and no one is a threat to who's around them. Okay, now... The biggest threat right now is those that are handling and behind the scenes with all this stuff coming against us. So, you know, those are not standard issue agents of the of the state or the country. So it becomes a a stand your ground law, realistically. Okay, and there's the legal aspect of liability. So, you know, the needle man or the needle woman, you know, hey, you know, first of all, scientifically you know, it, it contradicts what your research and what you, you know, unless you're evil, to give us a needle uh, and, and threaten us assuming that we're all going to be carriers and stuff like that. Uh, and there's a liability that goes with that. You will lose what you have, okay, and be charged with that in, in criminal charges. So these people need to be informed that they can be threatened like that. Because what they have is they have a, a slew of lawyers worth millions and millions of dollars backed by the state and government on their side saying, we will protect you. Okay, so you need to say, well, look, I don't have to have a lawyer to protect myself. And even though you got lawyers, same goes for these guys, you can be charged. And, you know, discount the money part. Just omit that because you want what you want to do is you want to prosecute, you want to give federal charges, so these people do time, 
okay? So they get their stuff taken away from them. So their families get embarrassed, okay? And feel the deficit like our families have, okay? And that's where it's at. None of these people have jurisdiction, technically. If you did not create a victim or you're not in a circumstance where you're creating a victim, okay? None of these people have any jurisdiction over you to tell you you can't do this or do that or you have to give up this or you have to accept that, okay? And, you know... They're all assuming jurisdiction based on the fears and threats that they're connected to the police. They're connected to the government. They got jails. They got guns. They got emergency equipment. And, you know, they got courthouses and court papers and judges are going to look at you. And, you know, and you can get Baker Act and all this stuff. And, you know, you can't. They're just operating on the fact that they're calling your bluff. For years and years, they've been calling bluffs, okay? And, you know, I told them they shouldn't have messed with me, man. And, uh, you know, that's where it's at. So, basically, if a police officer or a cop comes uh, up to you, you say, Oh, good afternoon or good evening, you know, what's the emergency? Oh, by the way, I'm recording a uh, full audio and video live stream, if you can. And they can't, they can't refuse that, to, for you to do that, okay? Or else they just have to leave. So, uh... Technically, an emergency uh, class is classified by someone becoming a victim, uh, some damage occurring, or some action that's going to disturb things in a negative way and create a victim of some sort. So, most of the time, this is how the ticket clinic gets out of it, you know, and gets your paperwork done, so this way you don't get points and they get paid. You know, on the police report, it'll say, I pulled them over a traffic stop in emergency equipment. Well, you know what, if you don't, if you say to them, you know, What's the emergency? And they say there is no emergency. Okay, great. Well, I think there's nothing you need from me. Have a nice day. Technically, that's what you can do. Okay, and if they persist after that, it becomes a stand your ground law because they are citizens on patrol. Okay, now they're sovereign citizens. There's no such thing. We are all sovereign under the almighty creator on this earth. Once we become a citizen, we are established within the state as a corporation or a corporate entity, and we're protected and bound by that, okay? And that's where they get jurisdiction, because at the same token, you have to operate within those boundaries. And you need to know the difference between a commercial act and, and exercising your liberty. Um, you know, we can go all day long. I've tried a million times. You know, you're going to get the message now and start thinking about it? Okay, so, you know, what's the emergency, officer? Oh, there is no emergency. Okay, well, I'm the natural man. Na I'm the private natural man. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm, tra I'm the traveling private natural man in the living flesh and flowing blood. And unless there's something I can help you with... I do not consent to this presentation, and I must be on my way. Okay, and you don't have to answer where you're going or where you're from. Okay, you never want to do do the details, okay? And they can't say, just start arresting you and doing stuff. You, you have a right to say, listen, I have to do, I have my due process that you have to respect. Okay, so that means they can't even bust, up, bust you up on the side of the road. Okay, and you know, like going to court, or you have 10 days or 30 days to reply. They can't do that. Okay, because everybody's scope of life is different. And the representatives, they're fraud. Okay, they're fraud. Okay, uh, so if, if one person can go and get a, a legal uh, representation and information in an hour, maybe one person can't do that for 10 years. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a due process. So you have a right to say, you know what, it's going to take me about eight years to get to this. You know, and, and technically they can't do anything. And what they'll keep doing is they'll try to keep bringing you in. They'll try to use big words. <clears throat> they'll, sh they'll, they'll shuffle you around between multiple other people. So you different, you dealt with different personalities every time. And you're being attacked mentally and character-wise to break you down, to get you to accept and understand the charges that are going on here. And basically, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory to me you know, living here and, and trying to do business for myself and realizing that I rather have a, a <clears throat> an earning than an income because I'm just a one-man show uh, most of the time. And, you know, you will learn these things. You're going to have to now because, you know, your life's uh, at stake here. And, you know, a lot of people in other countries can use this information too. I like America, A, because I'm here, okay, and if I was in a different country under the circumstances that I previously had to deal with, 
uh, I wouldn't have survived. I wouldn't have been able to represent myself. So I stand with the United States and America as an American, indigenous here, okay, protected, okay, by my forefathers, work, hard work establishing the United States Constitution. And all these other people have to abide by that. They can't sell it out, okay? And, you know, if you want to get real deep, oh, when did the metric system come in? <clears throat> What's up with all the English and British subservient mentality? You know, is, is England, Britain, Rome? And why are we assuming that role to be under the... Uh, under the pressure of our government, when all these people are paid, okay, on behalf of your signatures and your hard work, and I'm speaking to my Americans here, okay, but in any other country, I wish other countries had the ability to represent themselves and do the paperwork, you know, and, and, and challenge jurisdiction that's not sitting in their face with a gun, even if they are, you know. I mean, you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid. And if you have to die to, to, so 10,000 other people can live that, that are good people, then fucking die, dude. <clears throat> Don't sit there and let it get bigger because it will come back around and get you later. And you will be in this spot that you're at now and you'll be saying, oh, man, oh, oh, oh. You know, and your, your fireball and stuff is not doing you any good right now. Trust me. Um... <clears throat> I mean, it can to a point for you, but, you know, at the end of the day, you're not going to have even a fridge or a glass to put that in if that's the case, if this all, you know, continues to stand. But uh, other people in other countries can actually benefit from this by establishing their own sense of, of government within their communities, within their towns, within their associations, you know, and start to have a general little scope of, of rules and regulations that everybody can live by, you know, uh, basically I broke it down to four, okay, I broke it down to four basic laws, okay, and, uh, yeah, this is my work, you know, this is what I do, uh, the, the first law is one shall not capture, suppress, or command the free will of another, I mean, it's pretty so simple, right, okay, uh, an action of one that that creates harm and a victim to another is a crime, okay? And a law protects one from another, okay? Which means that there's no real law unless a victim is going to be created. There's no need for a law. So uh, a law is different than a statute, okay? And you need to learn that too on your own. Okay, uh, a life existent is valid consideration for consideration. That means that the people that were here first and that established stuff, you can't just go take their shit based on this. Okay, because there is hard work involved. You know what, when you put time into things, how it trans, you know, transposes into the purpose of your life. And then, you know... These people, I try to respect the people that were here from the past and that are still here. You know, if they didn't steal and rape and pillage to get their little empires and stuff, you know, they can be respected, but, you know, to a degree, everybody has to start contributing more to society. And, you know, that's even for from homeless people to billionaires, you know. Y'all got to start kicking it up a little bit better and making an effort in different places composing yourselves better, because this is why this is happening. There's a lot of people like me in the middle. Okay, uh, our element, and here's four, our elements and planet belong to all, okay, um, to which agreement shall be established as to the fate of. Okay, and this is considering the environment and the effects of technology on it, as well as the population in certain areas and, and how many people are moving in there and, and just killing the environment because there's so many people. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that we could do, and there's a lot of different plans we can come up with to deal with it, uh, but people have to be open-minded. And, you know, I, I got a suit jacket. You know, I got all that crap. You know, I mean, I thought of how I could do this presentation. You know, I mean, I would just probably burn this fucker, you know, because those people, 
this sitting there. Look at it. It's got like 10 things on there. You know, and it's baking your insides with these pants and stuff with like the 10 layers and slacks. You know, it's like a, mo a gosh darn monkey suit. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all the same stuff. So if you need to see someone in a suit explaining this, you know, you see, need to see someone with some law books explaining this, or you need to see someone like me with a big-ass needle standing with the eye, looking through the eye, looking at you, trying to sew up the seeds of reality that I know and I felt. Because this sucker right here is bleeding us out, okay? Through money and death and atrophy, he's taking all the natural elements that we're accustomed to be in love with, and, and being in love with and being loved by through the world that's helping us live and survive, okay? And your life is at stake here and our world is at stake at this point, okay? And, you know, it, it's we don't want to continue to reflect this negativity within our blood while the little businessman stands here to capitalize and make everything while we burn away, okay? We still got the sunshine shining, okay? And we still got a lot of things, and we can do it peacefully, but realize that you're going to have to start thinking. You're going to have to start making an effort on like, okay, how can, I, how can I save myself? Can I write myself a letter protecting myself? Okay, do I have a right to question a policeman or an officer? Can, you know, can I just say someone and just go over there and, and start asking them questions without being fearful that, oh, the cops are going to cut you up and feed you to the gators, you know, or oh, you can't fight City Hall. What are you going to do about it, dudes and women, mothers and fathers and sons and daughters, fellow people? I mean, come on. Let's, let's get wise here. So start making an effort so we can do something better here instead of having the, the course of things going in a way that propaganda is at an all-level high for threats by the government and by the world against the people. And, and we're bigger, okay? Ants can kill an elephant. I love saying that. And it's darn right true, you know. In in one palm tree, there's probably more ants. There's enough ants to infiltrate a house and kill a family, you know. That's <laughs> that's armed with insecticide, you know. So you got to understand that we do have power, you know. And if if the opposition, which there is an opposition at this point, okay, it's, I didn't create it. It is what it is. It's not what I wanted, okay. But the opposition doesn't play fair. So you know what? Let them play fair and let their fate be decided because they'll have to turn on each other. There is no perfect plan. And if there's a million people like that that have technology and education and funds, there's 20, billion, 20 million people on our side, yet sides, that have educations and they're smart enough to create things and technology and fund it. So, you know, come on out. We want you. And we want the weak people too. We want the people that are generally scared and feeble and, and disabled and, and needing care. We want you to. You count. Okay? And don't be afraid of the aggression of the people that are around you. Because there's people that are guardians and responsible for other people. And they've worked so hard. And they've been beaten down every single day of their lives one way or another. And they're, they're frustrated. They're ready to pop. They're not, they're not eating well. They got bad food and chemicals in their body. Okay? They're being droned out by crappy radio and crappy television programs. And, you know... It's a danger out there. Yes, it is, but you need to be present. All of these people that I mentioned, all these walks of life need to be present. You know, and if you've already done a good job by putting the racism and everything behind you at this point, and I see that, so you got something. Keep it up.